Hi everyone, I'm Rob Schmidt, welcoming you back to Financial Planning 101, where I show you how to make money and save money by explaining some of the basic fundamentals of some of the financial products that people are trying to sell you without thinking about what it's in your best interest. Now, last week I explained why it is that California bonds really do raise your taxes, even though they claim that on the balance that these bonds will raise revenues without raising taxes. Well, check out California bonds to find out why they really do raise your taxes. This video, as promised, I'm going to discuss the difference between bonds sold at a discount versus those sold at a premium. Very important. If a bond is sold at a discount, instead of selling it to you at the par value of $1,000, the government or the an entity that's trying to raise revenues, instead of selling it for the $1,000, maybe $990. Sounds appealing because when it's redeemed, remember, they pay you the full thousand. Also, in this case, instead of the 5% interest I mentioned last week, usually closer to 6%. The lower the bond amount, the greater the interest. Keep that principle in mind. Now, in the case of bonds sold at premium, in which they're actually re you know, trying to get them back that's not really being sold. What happened is that the bond rates, the interest rates have gone down. Instead of the 5% I mentioned last week, consider 3%. Well, if you've issued a bond at 5% and the going interest is now 3 you're that's two percentage points that you're paying out that you'd like. You don't want to pay that out. How do you get it back? You offer the bond holder more money. So instead of the par of $1,000, you offer maybe 1100 maybe 1200 Sounds pretty appealing, doesn't it? Run the numbers first. Also, if you have any questions about any of the bonds, you can either check Standard & Poor's or there's Moody's. Two excellent sources. They're not infallible. No source is. But they're excellent sources to find out which one of the bonds, what the bond rating is. How likely is it that whoever's issuing or selling you the bond will actually be around to pay up everything that they have agreed to? Now, since this is an audience-driven show, as are all of my shows, I do take requests. So if you have any financial matter you want to discuss, please share your thoughts with me in the YouTube message center. Or you can send me a confidential email at robsyoutube at earthlink.net. Next week, I plan to discuss what a colossal ripoff I had think that reverse mortgages are, and I was a loan officer for two years. I think the people that are trying to Push those who are really preying on the elderly. They make it look good, but it's really not in your benefit on the long term. And if you tune in, I will explain why. Now, thank you all so much for being part of my audience and watching my videos. And may God be with you all.